Hello, it's Sarah. I'm bringing you guys an update on the little tiered table that I'm working on. It's super hard to work with because it's so big and kind of clumsy. Um, I can't really use my camera in its usual overhead position. So I figured I'd just share updates as I go. And um, so let's just take a look real quick. I'm going to finish putting white here. I'm going to accent everything with black and white checks. So let's see. Uh, the lighting is, see this is just super hard to, okay. Anyway, I chose colors that are a little more um, vibrant than maybe just the primary colors. I definitely used pink and purple. Um, they're just some of my favorites. Like a real, real light, light green. Um, a bright, kind of brightish yellow. It's more of a, a calm yellow. And it really came down to what I had in my stash. I'm going to go over what I did here because I think before I move ahead with the actual decorating of each kind of um, color, I'm going to just put the colors on. So I think the next video I can share with you how I'm going to get this um, kind of rainbow effect on the top shelf. Um, but just for today, I want to go over with you how I managed this piece. So I don't know if it's, let's see, um, I guess I can zoom. Let's see if the zoom helps. Okay, so for this green section, you see how it kind of looks like trees. I didn't know that's what I was doing at all. I basically took the, um, the way that Barb Owen taught me when I did the mandala class with her was you make a decision and keep like you, and you keep doing it. So I just kept, I, made, I put a line and I kept repeat, make a line, repeat, make a line, repeat. So I'm going to um, break out a, a notebook, a little um, sketch pad to show you how this came to be. And I don't hate it. It actually helped me to see that just like my mandalas that I was doing with wood burning, I can put little shapes in here. Like I could put um, a wave on the blue, you know. So it's evolved into I'm letting Sarah come in and play, right? Like uh, I got the inspiration on um, Pinterest and it was just kind of basic shapes and basic ideas. This, I think I got my dotting tools out. I think I want to do a white kind of daisy shape with dots, um, you know. We'll see. And also, I got to use gold. I really love gold. And that being said, I did do the, the legs with white, which I'm rethinking now. I think I probably will do a little black and white around the middle of it, but I think I want to bring the color down to that. So that's really all I have for you guys right now. I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera overhead, and I'll be right back. All right. So I'm back. Um... I remembered that I had Posca paint pens and I thought it's much easier to work on that type of surface because it's so wonky. I couldn't get the control with a paintbrush. So that being said, I decided to try it. I haven't really used them yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, just for what I'm about to show you. Okay. So when I made the trees, so let's just, I'm just using um, Sharpies right now. <laughs> So I painted this area, it's like a light green, and then I don't know what color this is, and I don't know what color this is. Um, so I just started making lines, and this is what uh, Barb Owen ta taught us when, we, when I did a mandala class with her. Um, you just make a decision and keep, go and, and keep going. What is it, what was her, her rule? Uh, make a choice. And you just keep doing it. So anyway, I made triangles. So I went like this. I just made triangles. And this is a standard pattern for like, it's a doodle pattern or it's a mandala pattern. And you can do a lot of things. I could have made little triangles or whatever. So I thought, okay, there's triangles. Now I'm just going to put a line. Make, make a decision, repeat. So I put a line there. I'm like, all right, I got to put a line here. I don't know why, I was just playing around. And then I'm like, well, uh, let me connect them. See what that looks like. Now, meanwhile, this is on my piece. So I'm doing this in paint, in green paint, and 
you know, I'm not loving it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what have I just done? I have to paint over the whole thing. So I'm like, well, let me connect these. I have to connect these first. Keep, I keep going, right? I keep digging deeper and deeper. Um, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, let me fill something in. So I start filling in. I decided to just fill in these tri um, the triangular parts. And as I'm going, I'm like, well, that kind of looks like trees now. It looks like trees that are connected to each other, upside down trees. So I, I could live with that. I'm like, oh, well, all right. And then it occurred to me that when I was making my wood burning mandalas, that this is more along the lines of what I did. I have one in my, right now that I'm looking at that has B scap. So in other words, I would draw circles. So on the paper, I have circles. So this is a circle. The B scap had a circle. And I just, this is a circle. And I just started filling and I erased all the circles. And I just started filling the space with something that would fit and um, that had a kind of a, a theme, right? So this one was, I just love it so much. Um, the bee skeps, the bees, the sunflower with the yin yang, and then the moon and the sun. Um, and a little heart flower. So pretty simple, but it becomes more fun for me when I instead of just shapes like a doodle now I've done both I've done just the doodle um, and that's fine I have this one where so these all start out as circles so some of the circles I burned on here and I just started making leaves just start making that shape then I put dot 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 see how it just starts to build and then this one I made a leaf and then I moved on to the next one and made a triangle and then I decided to make it suns like it just keeps building so once you get the whole thing done, then I start playing with the real detail details, the tiny details, and where I'm going to put color when I start painting it. Um, you know, so, and I've done lots of these. I wasn't, that wasn't my intention when I started doing this little table. I mean, I showed you my, my inspiration. I don't have my phone with me right now. But my inspiration was from Pinterest, and it was just, it was a very colorful pattern table. I have black and white checks, which really draws my eye as well. Um, so I just started painting. And like I shared, I picked bright, I picked the colors that appealed to me. Anywho, here's where I'm at. So now I have trees. So then I was like, so like I said, I had the Posca paint pens and it just was easier. I could have done this with uh, paint because it was so easy. But I decided to make little brown lines on the green line to represent the trunk of the tree and just make it look a little more like maybe you guys didn't see a tree but now with the brown lines you might be like okay I see the tree now you know so anywho that I did that and then I thought well I let me add I, I first thought I was just gonna do like um, strokes so this is a I don't know if you'll even see this but I was just gonna stroke them like this and I did it, and I didn't love it. Like, you can't even really see on the paper what that looks like. This, mind you, is painted light green, the background. So we already have light green on there. I thought, nah, I don't like that. So I decided to just do a red dip dot for, like, little apples or something or berries. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> This, this Posca paint pen isn't, uh, it's not working. So I literally used the, be the bottom of a, a, a paint brush and I just dipped it in a puddle of actual red paint, so not the Posca paint pens, and just dotted the little trees. Oop, I'm still zoomed in. And my dogs are barking. Um, anywho, so see, here's what it turned out like. And I'm not done. I mean, who knows? I'm going to move on. I'm going to do another stripe. On this one, I kind of, this was on the piece that was uh, on Pinterest. And I put big circles, but then on this one, I put little circles. And I think I'm going to dot, I got out my dotting tools too. Where the heck is it? I'm going to do white, like white, I think white. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do pink. <gasps> Ooh, and on this one, I'll do orange. I don't know. So see, that's the thing. It's just going to be me playing. And that is where... The serenity happens for me. Sometimes it doesn't because um, 
a lot of people would probably tend to design on paper first, which really makes a lot of sense to me as I'm sitting here now thinking of it. Like, for instance, let me grab, um, I think I had a sh my pink Sharpie out here. So I think what I'm going to do on another one of these is some hearts. I'm just going to make hearts that go from top to bottom. And it, the, the background is already painted. So I don't know. I'll choose a color. And then, oh, I forgot what I was doing. Hey, that's not bad. Um, then I could decorate each heart. I could make them, I could make stripes. I could make a checkerboard, which I like checkerboards. And I can actually do that with just a flat brush. If I load this with paint, I could even use the same color paint like pink. And I can just pull checks. That's what I love. And it saves me a lot of pity. I don't know. And then I'll outline everything. What else could I do? Then I thought about making suns. So if I go like this, they could even be a little more deep. Like maybe reach to the middle. So I'll start it right at where that one ends. Oh boy, that was wonky. And because it's there's no pattern, I'm just doing it myself. Um, and I could do orange, but I could do yellow. But I was thinking I would do, like, connect them. But then also, uh-oh, wait, 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 wait. This one has to go this way. And then this one. See, it becomes, it, it, it like, it turns into like a puzzle. So I like that. And that, to me, looks like a sun. And then I can, when I paint it, I can highlight and shade or I can color it yellow. Um, I think I'm going to do this on the yellow. And then I'll use orange. We'll see. We'll see. I could even just do an in-between line. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting crazy, right? What else was I thinking? Oh, waves. So on the blue patch, do I have a blue Sharpie? That would be awesome. I do. I probably do. I just don't have it right here. Um, I think I could go... Am I in the shot? Yeah. And that, to me, is like a wave. I mean, I could just go like this. I don't know. This is me playing right now in this moment. And because it is kind of fudgy to do this line work, I, that's why I thought of the Posca pens. Now, I don't know if they're, I haven't used them in years. But like, I don't know. It kind of looks like a wave. And I mean, I could put dots. And here's how the piece becomes mine, because no one else is going to do this exact thing. Yeah, I got the idea from Pinterest. You get it, right, you guys? So, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, everything's good. I'm trying to... Um, well, we're getting ready. Thanksgiving is a week away. Thanksgiving is one week from today. And... Uh, yeah, but everything is good, and um, I just wanted to thank you all so much, as always. And one of my subscribers, Margaret, told me, if you can't, if you can't have a great day, have a grateful day. Thanks for watching.